Navi and in today's video I am going to be reviewing this science book. It's called Bubbles and Balloons and I'm going to be doing one of the experiments from it. Where is it? Here. It's the soda geezer. I'm going to be dropping some Mentos into here to make it fizz up like that. Let's go. Just going to read out all of the steps of this and then I'll do them. Step one. Oh, it says, the hardest part of this is to drop at least six Mentos into the soda at the same time. You can practice your technique. No, I'm not going to practice my technique. I'm just going to go with it. Open the Mentos. Put your finger over the bottom of the tube and drop six Mentos into the tube so that they are piled up on top of one another. Hold the tube over the empty over the empty soda bottle. Oh, oh, that's still practicing it. Okay. Take the full soda bottle and six Mentos in the paper tube to the middle of a large open space. Stand the bottle on the ground. If it is wobbly, make a sp small mound of soft dirt or sand to stand it in. One person takes the top off the bottle and the other person immediately drops in the Mentos from the paper tube. Then both of you run back quickly, watching the bottle all the time for the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I'm just going to be doing it on my own, so hopefully I can do it. I'll just put the book away so it doesn't get messy when I do this. The reason I chose this experiment is because it's going to get messy. Let's go. Five, six. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. What? Oh, none of them fell in. Only one of them fell in. Oops. Oops. <laughs> um, I've opened the Mentos packet now, and I'm just going to grab my dad to help me open the bottle. Ready? Oh, it's fizzing already. <laughs> it's like a Coke fountain. <laughs> There's loads of foam on the grass. It didn't quite out work out how the picture said it was, but it was still really cool. Um, at least I've still got a few Mentos left to eat. It didn't quite work out as high as in the book said because in the book there was a picture and it went about to maybe this high, taller than me it seemed, but mine just went a bit low. The good thing is it was still really cool and I've got Coke and Mentos to spare. Now I'm going to review the book for you. I've had the book for a couple of weeks now and I think I've read through the whole thing. In the contents, I've counted up there are 35 experiments like a glowing lava lamp, how to skewer a balloon and how to make square bubbles. Also it's got a page on set how to set up your science lab and which ingredients you will mainly need throughout the book. One of the other bits that I liked was that it shows you how to do a proper science investigation on the soda geezer one that I did, I might write down what flavour Mentos I used, what type of um, fizzy, I, fizzy drink I used, and then um, use different types and see which one works better. I think the next one I'm probably going to do is the glowing lava lamp because I, I like how um, the oil stays apart from the water. And if you drop some food colouring in, it will go straight down to the bottom to the water and the oil will just stay its colour. A good thing about this book is that I don't think you would ever really get bored of it because all of the experiments are really interesting and you would probably want to do them again. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video doing another one of the experiments for this book. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye!